Hello, this is a continuation of the how to draw a spider web tutorial. If you would like to follow along, it is recommended that you have seen the first part. To view it, just click on this blue preview window. Now I'm going to show you how you can remove the center part and add text to it. First, go to the selection tool and select one of the circular rows. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. You can remove each row one by one or you can select all of them at once and press the delete key. Make sure not to touch the straight lines. All the curved segments are separate paths and you can easily delete whichever one you like. Just select it and press the delete key a few times. Next, we will delete the straight line segments from the center of this web. If you select this part and press the delete key, Illustrator will remove the whole line. And that's not what we want. Let's undo it. In order to delete just the center segment of this line, we will need to divide it into two separate segments. To do that, we will use the scissors tool. Before using the scissors tool, make sure your straight lines are on top. If you are not sure, first select all the straight lines, then right click, choose arrange and bring to front. Now let's zoom in on this intersection. To make a cut, go to the scissors tool or press the letter C on your keyboard. Click on this path and you've got two separate segments. Select the bottom one and press delete. Let's do the same with the other lines. Next, we will add text that will follow the first row. In order to do that, we will need to connect all the segments of the first row together to form a closed path. Let's zoom in on the center. Now switch to the Direct Selection tool and select all the segments of the first row. Let's change their color to blue so it's easier to see them. Now, when I zoom in on this intersection, you can see that there is a gap between these two blue segments. We will need to join them together. Before you do that, it's a good idea to lock the layer with this black line, so it won't get shifted during this process. Now, drag a box to select both end anchor points. Right click and select Join. Next, we need to delete one of the anchor points to get a clean corner. To do that, go to the Pen tool and select the Delete Anchor Point tool. Now, click on one of these anchor points to delete it. And let's repeat this process with the other segments. And we've got one closed path. Now you are ready to type on it. Add a logo or text to the center. Or change the color of a whole row. Just be creative. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.